Hello and uh, welcome back to Insaka. We have been on a break for a long time. And so, guys, I'm really excited uh, to be back and for us to resume our episodes. I'm sure you missed Insaka. And yeah, so, so it's been long, so we're going to introduce ourselves, of course, uh, Billy and myself, you know, and uh, this year, in fact, I think we've been out for over a year. Close to that, but uh, yeah. it's quite a while. Yeah, it, it, it's been a while. Right. So anyway, we have uh, two new additions uh, to the men's group in Saka, and uh, we thought we should bring in some younger versions of us uh, in case we are missing uh, anything, okay? So... My name is Sandala Mwanje, and I will be your host for this Insaka, and my co-host, my friend. Hello, everyone. Good to be here. Billy Sichon is my name. Okay. Uh, Alan and Emmanuel, why don't you introduce yourself as well? And maybe you are both students here at Central African Baptist yeah. University. So introduce yourselves and also the programs that you are in. Um, <clears throat> my name is Alan Yara Zenyoni. I'm a Zimbabwean citizen. I'm a third year student studying Bible, majoring in missions here at Central Africa Baptist University. Mm. Okay, thank you, Alan, and welcome to Isaka. Mm. And my name is Emmanuel Njuroge. Uh, I'm a Kenyan citizen, a fourth year student, uh, doing Bible as well, majoring in missions. Thank you, and uh, welcome to Isaka. Okay, so this is the group uh, that uh, will be discussing a very important uh, topic, a trending topic. We are discussing suicide guys, or suicide, depending on which school you went to, okay? But this is a trending uh, topic. It's a sad topic, but it is a trending topic. Uh, let me simply run through uh, some numbers, some research uh, concerning uh, this topic that we are discussing. But before we get there, maybe let's get to the definition. What are we talking about when we talk suicide? What does that mean? I think we need to be very clear with the definitions before we, we proceed. Yeah, there are several definitions, and what I'll give is just a basic uh, understanding. Of course, there are variations. But uh, the word suicide comes from... Uh, some Latin words, and obviously basically talks about uh, taking one's life, or in other words, ending uh, somebody's uh, physical life. Okay. Um, did you guys have any additions to that definition? Mm, no. Okay. Nothing, it's nothing much. Okay. It's clear. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so this is differentiated from uh, murder, for example, yeah. a killing. Mm. This is uh, a person ending their own life. Mm -hmm. Yes, a person ending their lives or, or, or making a decision yeah. to end their life rather than God's yeah. timing. For yeah. instance, uh, I've been around or for some reason, I want to end my life. Maybe I want, maybe I want to end my misery. Yeah. So all I do is just you know, yeah. Yeah. take medicine or so, is it poison? And yeah. so. so basically, this is a self-kill, yeah. okay? Uh, as opposed to somebody killing you, mm -hmm. you kill yourself. Now... Before we get very far in uh, the, the discussion, maybe you tuned in after seeing the topic because you are really seeking to get help. Uh, it could be you've been entertaining suicidal thoughts uh, your, your, yourself or suicidal feelings. Uh, it could be that you are convinced that um, maybe your life is not worth living. Um, and maybe you tuned in because you feel like your world is collapsing on you, um, or your life seems hopeless, uh, or that there's just nothing in this world that uh, makes sense. I want to assure you that you tuned in uh, to the right program because we want to address you know, the subject. We want to address those feelings, those thoughts, uh, we want to also offer the help that God uh, offers. So you are tuned in to the right program. But let me begin by uh, giving us just some um, uh, 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 researched data. Uh, and here I want us to uh, think through why do people come to a place of 
I simply want to die. I want to take my life. Why do they come to, uh, to that uh, position? So here are some of um, uh, the, the reasons. So this is just documenting uh, one suicide death after another, one suicide death after another. And, you know, in some cases, people actually leave notes, you know, why they took their own life. So, so that's what this data is, uh, is, is doing. So uh, number one, uh, it's, it's mental illness. Okay, and uh, I think at some point we need to feature a, a medical personnel uh, who can really tell us uh, what what this what this means, and uh, you know, or maybe do you have any well read into that? Uh, not so much. I'm not an expert, but yeah. uh, but uh, we're talking about either there are some chemical imbalances in the body or in the mind, and therefore it begins to affect the way that you think. Yeah. Then others say they are psychological thoughts, some things that are happening inside, inside you, yeah. uh, and it, it kind of triggers some thoughts, uh, and you begin to think of self-destruction. So, so some overwhelming yeah, thoughts. Some overwhelming thoughts. Yeah. So, so I, I think an expert would help us with yeah. that. So, so under mental illness, um, they talk about this is severe depression. So this is where somebody has reached bottom, bottom, bottom. Uh, they will talk about bipolar disorder, yeah. those things, um, uh, all those kind of things. And then another reason, documented reason, is uh, traumatic stress. Uh, so this is a person who has had a traumatic experience, uh, maybe from childhood. You're talking about uh, sexual abuse and, and, you know, it just did something to them. They can't get it off their brain. They are really thinking about it. They are not getting answers. And so that stress may, may, may lead to suicide. Uh, you're talking about somebody who has been raped and the feelings that come from, from all those kind of things. Uh, you're talking about physical abuse or maybe uh, war trauma. Yes. As, yeah. uh, this is common in soldiers. Yeah. Uh, they uh, simply cannot get out. Uh, from their minds, those images of, of people dying and guns and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, so that's traumatic uh, stress. Uh, so research is that uh, people who've had traumatic experiences are at a greater risk for suicide, uh, even many years after the trauma, uh, yeah. when we have forgotten about it. Yeah, because uh, I, I think sometimes we underplay that. Um, as I have read, I have noticed those that went, let's say, to to battlefronts in Iraq and other places. When they come home, they even suffer, you know, panic quakes, you know, suddenly he's sitting and then he's running and, and all sorts of things. So the mind, you know, the brain is very amazing. It's able to keep information. Uh, and that information sometimes comes forth and causes problems. So the person in the end says, look, I've seen so much death uh, and I can't get over it. I'm overwhelmed. So I might as well end my life. Yeah. So, uh, you know, some numbers in a survey of nearly 6,000 adults, nearly 22% of people who have been raped had attempted suicide at some point, while 23% who experienced physical assault tried to take their own life at some point. So, you know, traumatic stress is, is really something. Then uh, the next one is substance use. Uh, drugs and alcohol uh, can also influence a person uh, who is feeling uh, suicidal. Uh, I think there are just some drugs that get you so high. You, uh, have you done drugs before? No, um, <laughs> but I actually lost um, yeah. someone I knew. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a crystal meth addict due to suicide. Okay. Um, and then also uh, alcohol. So although people don't want to classify it as a drug, others say it is. Yeah. So when you become an alcoholic, uh, sometimes uh, we're told that when you begin to reach those very critical stages, you become suicidal mm. uh, because of the effect of, of that drug. Okay, then another reason, uh, loss of fear of loss. Okay. So this is a person uh, who has uh, lost something that they were really attached to, something that's so precious, mm -hmm. uh, a loved one, mm -hmm. uh, a job. Um, 
And then some people, just the very fear that they might lose something uh, that causes uh, panic in them and they just sort of lose the fight uh, of hope. Yeah. And, and, and that one so, is, uh, yeah. sounds quite troubling because some people, especially those that yeah. lose loved ones, they, yeah. they say words like, part of me has died. Has died. Yeah. 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 And if you don't manage that very well, yeah. you go in that route. So, so now uh, let me just uh, put some categories under this one, loss, because it's also huge. It accounts for a very good number of societal yeah. cases. Um, academic failure. And it's interesting that uh, in this country, uh, every big exam year, we're talking about grade 12, and recently even grade 7 and 9, wow. okay. we had kids taking their yeah. own lives. Mm. Uh, in Kenya, have you experienced something like that? Yeah, yeah, especially yeah. high school, uh, which would be grade 12. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. And university as well. Yeah, yeah. But you see, this is coming from actually the pressure that is driven, that this is the determining moment of your life. This mm -hmm. is the exam that determines who you, who you become, mm -hmm. uh, what you become, what you'll achieve, and what's not. Mm -hmm. So some kids cannot just stomach the fact that they failed that exam. And maybe it came after they put in so much. Let, let me just add uh, one little bit. Uh, I'm glad you have mentioned that one. Academic, sometimes societal pressure, because uh, especially owner cultures, yeah. they don't expect you to fail. Yeah. So you are thinking, how am I going to face the world if mm. I fail? So I would rather That's take, exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it all. Yeah, exactly. Um, then there's being arrested or imprisoned, okay? Mm. So this is the guy who has done something and he can see himself spending life imprisonment or many, many years imprisonment. So there are also many cases of that where before you get to them... Blow his brains out. Yeah, he yeah. blows his brains out. You know, I, I would rather disappear than go to prison mm. uh, or face the consequences of... Uh, my actions. So yeah. that one is huge as well. Yeah, because uh, as an example, we had one guy, okay, he was probably even arrested. One of these antivirus uh, creators, he, he took his own life in prison because he could say, he said, look, I can't see myself. So I would rather end it all. Mm. And then, yeah. yeah. Um, financial problems. Mm, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think just uh, recently there was a report of, I don't know if that was a nurse or a teacher in this country uh, who committed uh, suicide because he was owing about 14,000 kwacha. Yeah, 14, um, mm -hmm. And so he took his life. And I think before that, there was another guy who was, uh, you know, drowning in debt. Mm -hmm. And so he took his own life. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, this is a situation where the people you owe are calling you one after the other. Uh, you start running away from your own phone. <laughs> you switch it off. The moment you switch it on, uh, it's a string of... Yeah, it's yeah. a string of... Okay, yeah. so those overwhelming uh, 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 pressures. So apparently this is also getting huge in this country, financial problems. Mm. That's why I said it's huge. Yeah. Um, you know, and... and, and, and you know, arising from the fact that society is now really being defined by money, money, money terms, money, not right. not even relationships. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the relationships yeah. are defined around money. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. if you borrow something from me yeah. uh, and you don't, I, I, I'll make your life very difficult. Mm. Uh, and so some people, as you've rightly said, mm. end their lives. It's about making the money. So um, Loss of social status, I think we have, you know, seen those uh, cases as well. So maybe this is where something, uh, you did something really embarrassing and in this uh, day of uh, social media, you go viral and you're like, oh, 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 oh okay. I just cannot, like, Stand. they respected me. Yeah. I'm all over social media. Uh, no, I, I would rather disappear. Mm. Uh, and so... And unfortunately, in this loss of social status, we have pastors commit suicide. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had a case in one of the churches where a pastor was, I think, was caught up in very, very bad 
situation. And that was the first time I was hearing a pastor ending their lives. I, I just couldn't wrap my mind mm. around that. But it happened because the pastor could not face up yeah. uh, to whoever they had offended and the larger uh, society at large. I remember, I said, like I said, in yeah. owner cultures yeah. where people hold you in such high esteem yeah, yeah. and you just, yeah. you can't put yourself together. Yeah. And the church can be an owner culture. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. A big one, actually. Yeah. And somehow they think that pastors and, and those church officers should be perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But they're human beings. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even as church leaders, maybe we give them the impression yeah. like we are, yeah. you know, macho men, superman, we yeah. are above what... Yeah. Uh, uh, and in the end, it creates a problem. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, there's a subtle way in which we uh, we are saved by our reputation, you know. Meanwhile, you're supposed to be resting on the finished work of Christ. Right. Yeah. That's a big one. You know, so um, I, I, we just need to remind ourselves yeah, of that. Again and again. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. uh, we're, we're not condoning sin, sinful behavior, I don't yeah, think. Yeah. But we're just saying, reasons. When, yeah, reasons why people end their lives. Yeah. So another one is a chronic pain and illness. Uh, so if a person has chronic pain or illness and with no hope, you know, there's that persistent pain, you know, an illness that won't go away. Um, that just brings some people to this place of, okay, knock for chawama. Yeah. I don't know how you'd say that in... Uh, uh, hey, you can Swahili. understand that, Bemba, eh? Put it in context. Yes, <laughs> makes me understand, but yeah. not so sure. Um, in Shona? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, the closest Shona would be like uh, Javarana. Like, uh -huh. yeah, that, that, that's the end. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm better okay, now that's me. similar to some street language we have here, like <laughs> Wavana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so, so you see. Uh, and this is where in, in, in um, the so-called developed countries, uh, some are now talking about assisted suicide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, look, this person is just in so much pain and, you know, uh, so the outsiders are looking at the misery of this person and says, uh, well, maybe we should just get their consent to end their life and all that kind of thing. But, yeah, so uh, that's one of the causes. Um, uh, then, then the last one, the last one, um, feeling, feeling like a burden to others, mm -hmm. feeling like a burden to others. Do, Imano, do you think that, like, like, I think from research, this is just where somebody expresses like, oh, I just feel I'm a burden to the family and what's not, what's not, but what's into that? Yeah, I think it, it sort of kind of comes back to the idea of value, uh -huh. you know, like, uh, especially today, you know, everyone is about what do you have to offer. Mm -hmm. If you do not have anything to offer, uh, you can't put anything on the table and, and thus, you know, be equal to those with whom you're interacting with, you end up feeling like, a you know, a burden to them and you miss out, you know, you feel like you're going to miss out on everything and anything that might be of benefit to you and also yeah. benefit to, to others. Um, and especially today with, with the younger generation, that, that's a big deal. We all want to fit in. We all want to be considered important, you know, and so forth and so forth. So, you know, if you, if you have nothing to put on the table, there's no point of living, yeah. you know. Um, um, did you want to add on that? Yeah, I think um, the added pressure is like I think we live in a in a world where social media is like the thing, and people sort of have this um, weight of expectation. Like you wake up every day and you feel like I should live up to this reputation that mm. your sort of name has been built around, and if you fail to do that, you feel like you have failed. Mm. You feel like you are a burden to like those who look up to you. So mm. the best way is to actually just disappear from the scene. That, that that's more, more or less what what's happening amongst like the young people. Yeah. And so, so, so just yeah. before you go, uh, the, the, for the older generation, especially those that are married, 
uh, especially for the men in our context, we, we feel as men we should provide for our spouses and our children. So suddenly I'm not able to provide on account of illness or I've lost a job or something, and my spouse is the one who's doing it. If you, you haven't oriented your thinking properly, you begin to feel as a burden. Mm. Uh, as men and, and and inside you are dying and then perhaps even take that step yeah, yeah. so so uh, listen to what uh, you know this is according to one website verywellmind.com but this is what he says he says in fact many people who decide to commit suicide often state that their loved ones or the world in general would be better off without them mm. okay so you know there's just that feeling that Maybe not anymore. Okay, so I, I think we are going to end here, mm. unfortunately, uh, but we want to come back in the second episode uh, to uh, now look at what are the solutions uh, to these causes or reasons for suicide that we have uh, mentioned. Uh, what sort of help can you get uh, yourself? Uh, we also want to look at, um, uh, you know, digging deeper into into these uh, reasons and and also then you know one important um, a piece that I'm really interested in is really to find out if the bible addresses suicide yeah. uh, do we even have people in the bible who are suicidal or committed suicide sure. so we we'll take that survey uh, i think we we'll do that survey before we come to look at uh, the, the the solutions sure. so Please do join us because you, you, you really want to get uh, to the piece where we talk about the help. So see you next week, same time. This has been Isaka. Thank you.